This is the teleprompter app I use. It has a lot more features than what we're gonna go over. I'm simply gonna show you the features that I use, how I make this work, and why I continue to use it because it's quick and easy. I don't need all the bells and whistles that it do, does, that it offers, whatever, but maybe you do. Here's how I use this app. I simply write up my script on my computer, make it a PDF, and then share it over to my iPad. Go into the AirDrop and open with files. Save this over onto cloud into a folder that I've made called teleprompter. Save that. Go ahead and replace. And I have my script here for my next video. Click done, exit out of that, and open up Prompt Smart App. I want to import a script and I'm gonna choose where I just saved this to. Obviously there you saw other options. I'm gonna click. And here I can always click this little pencil icon to edit if I need to change a word uh, or so and hit play. Now this will automatically load the script in a typical teleprompt, you know, backward um, format. It is responsive uh, whether uh, portrait or uh, landscape. You'll see down at the bottom corner there's this little time uh, indication. That's like uh, how quickly this scrolls. So you'll see it's a fairly fast scroll as it is. It's probably you're gonna sound rushed if you try to read it like this, but you can slide this to be as slow as you want. That's gonna be way too slow, but maybe if it's bullet points. Uh, and the person is ad-libbing, you might want it something at that speed. I tend to be somewhere around the middle and it's just very easy to tap on the side there and uh, adjust the speed. You can also change uh, things like the size of the font. I've had uh, people request that. There's a couple other features in here that I really honestly do not use. Personally, I have not used the voice track feature. To me, it's way too jerky and disrupting and overly responsive, if you will. Watch how it, it works. I've got an affiliate link in the description below for a great teleprompter setup that's quite affordable and I highly recommend adding it to your kit. Using the link really does go a long way in helping me produce content for this channel. So you can see how, how jerky this really is and it also puts the text at the top of the screen, which is oftentimes above where my lens is. So I'm, I'm forced to be looking up here rather than here, where if I use just a normal scrolling speed, then I can kind of gauge where the lens is, make sure my text is there, even stare down the lens if the text is a little bit above or below, and kind of read through my peripheral. And the constant speed's a lot easier to flow rather than that jerky line move up, get a couple words in, line up kind of flow. For me, that's literally all the features that I really need it for and have ever used. Not run into scenarios where I need it to do more, but it's nice to know that it has other bells and whistles uh, that I can use uh, it for. I've got an affiliate link in the description below. Using the link does really go a long way in helping me produce content for this channel. Well, I hope this video was helpful because though I won't be seeing you in the next one, you're sure to see me rough.